Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Booze Review. This is also an aged review. Yep. You have the Rhino, you have the Reverend, <coughs> and we have a booze that was brought to us by a friend of the review. Yes. This is between 15 and 17 years old. It's 10% alcohol. This is Bahama Mama <laughs> Rum Cocktail. Bahama Mama. The color actually changes if you look as it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't know what bottle this came on, but a, apparently a booze bottle yeah, of, it was, it was of an rum. I, some, I'm guessing a rum. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, look at the size God, of the neck yeah. hole. <laughs> so, Bahama Mama, usually mixed with rum, yeah. so yeah, I'm going with rum. Um, classic it's cocktails. A, a rum <laughs> there is rum in it. Yeah, 10% yeah. alcohol. I don't know. Here, you can try and read the alcohol. Or the, yeah, yeah, it's a little wrinkly and nice. small. <laughs> This Bahama Hump, this Bahama Mama cocktail is made Mama? with real truffle citrus juices that are then combined with our own Barley's rum to give you a real island cocktail. <laughs> Simply shake well, pour over ice in a tall glass, and garnish with cherry and an orange slice. Did we actually have, have any some? Ice. We're not having any cherry, nor orange slice. Pester wants some too. That was good. Let's do this, kitty. Oh, they didn't see it. Cat's like, Bahama Mama, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to shut that. There you go, camera person. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it smells alright. That hurt Hondro hand job it's there. Uh, awesome. There's like micro bits in it. Micro bits. <laughs> micro bits. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's too much. Goodness. It's probably the citrus, right? Like maybe some pulp. Thank you. <laughs> it's a nice color too. It's, it's like peachy color, micro. light peachy color. Yeah. No. Yeah. Some want to taste it. Oh, everything. Where's your cup? I don't want to, you know, open. Dump it out. Smells like a... It smells good. It's bubblegum. Yeah. We need a, uh... Kind of like C+. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Victoria, what? Like, plastic. Actually, that's smells like C+. Yeah, Sweet C+. Yeah. Oh, She's oh, right. Oh, there oh, is oh, micro oh, bits oh, in oh, it. There oh, is oh, a little oh, bit of bits floating in there. Not many. Yeah. She's badass. Yeah, nobody would ever snub you. Nope. Yeah, he's talking about you. Cat. I don't know. It smells. It smells good and bad at the same time. It doesn't yeah. smell bad at all. It smells out of the bottle. Oh yeah. But you think the plastic has an effect on the <laughs> smell? Obviously, yeah. It's weird. I can see the flash of these glasses yeah. off the cat's eyes. Yes, yes I heard that. The they, cat's eyes are. Part of the glass. It doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. It just it's smells like candy. Or something. Ready to try it? Cotton candy. Yes. Cheers. It actually has some chewy parts in it too. <laughs> <laughs> I had something crunch as I closed my mouth. <laughs> Are you sure that was just leftover from chips in your mouth? Sorry. I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't on her. It was a fresh crunch. <laughs> it was a fresh, fresh crunch. <laughs> oh, on the yep. bargain lot? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That was impressive, right now. You know you respect me when they carry you just from the field of the golf. So thoughts? Hey, My thoughts down, are. It's quite good. It's it is good for something that's 15 years old. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. this yeah. reminds me of like the, the cactus drink, where I expect it to be far worse than it really turned out to be. No, no, no. It, really it does good. have the aftertaste uh, of like pink cotton candy. It's very sweet aftertaste, yeah. yeah. And just it doesn't taste juicy at all, really. <laughs> Maybe a little at the beginning, yeah. and that's it. The initial like. Oh, well, there is a burn, yeah. Like, Bob Kels Kelso would be proud. Bahama Mama. Some good uh, it's good. It is really Where's it from? good. Where's it from? I don't fucking uh, know. <laughs> Where's it from? Somebody that has the relic thing. My daughter recently was talking about relics. She's like, what is it, relic? Grimsby, Canada. <laughs> nothing says nothing says boring. <laughs> so right next door. KR Estate Distillery, Grimsby, Canada. <laughs> Kitling Ridge. <laughs> Kitling Ridge made this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're fucking joking! No, no. I aren't you glad I asked her? It's from now, eh? Jeez. <laughs> That's amazing. Kitling, Kitling Ridge made this. The same people that made Prince Igor and <laughs> oh, Forty yeah, yeah, Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Forty Creek's good. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, I heard a distillery. Shit started getting out of whack. 
This is at 15 years <laughs> later, this is good. <laughs> Out of 10 for everybody that's tried this. Uh, uh, I do a 7.5. Yeah, this is a 7.5. I'll give it a 7, it's a little too sweet for my taste. A 7 for myself, and as a, uh, yeah, as a booze, it, it's good. Um, to the friend of the review that brought this to us, amazing. I can't believe you still had this this many years later, because this is actually good. Even this many years later, this is good. What do you think it was 15 years ago? It's still fucking ugly. Probably way fucking better. Probably very, probably very acidic, I would think. Alhander just asked if you could still get that. I don't think so. I don't really think so. No. I've never seen that on the Kitling Ridge website. No, I haven't seen it for like a while. I haven't seen it for a while. Thank you guys. I can't divorce this. Bye. Boo!